built a little backyard composter today. So I'm going to show you what I did and get it going, trying to make some compost for this little farm. We'll see how it goes. It's me, Kat, the farmer. <laughs> I'm here working on winter projects. Um, for the three years that we have lived on this land, we haven't had a compost because we lived in the camper at first and then we were just scared of attracting bears and raccoons um, that might come intimidate our kitties at night. So this is my first attempt at a bear-proof compost so that we can start composting. Now that we moved into the house and we're starting a kitchen business and a farm, uh, it's going to be a lot of waste in the kitchen and waste on the farm. So this will be a way to reuse that fertility um, in different ways around the farm. So what I've done is take an old barrel that I got from a former employer. Um, it has one of these straps around the top that holds the lid on. And um, I cut into the top and made a little swing door that opens up for pouring in all your compost, um, kitchen scraps. And on the inside, there's a, a piece of rebar that's attached with um, a little bit of pack pipe to help it turn smoothly so that you can rotate this. So I'm going to open this back up and start using it. Um, I've got some gross kitchen scrap here. Uh, so that'll be wet, green, um, nutrient-rich stuff that's going in. And then I just mowed the lawn in the leaf collector. So I've got lots of brown stuff that I can add to. Um, I really like that my lawnmower collects leaves like this. So every time we add kitchen scraps, we'll add a little bit more leaf or brown matter and then close it up. And I think maybe just every time I add something to it, I'll give it a few turns and mix it together. Um, and I've never used a compost tumbler before. I've only seen them at Plenty. Um, the ones that Mark has made there look pretty cool. Um, that little wing nut isn't tightening too easy. Um, so yeah, let's give it a turn. It's Probably a lot of avocado seeds in there. Not so bad so far. I'm hoping that once it's done, I'll just take that ring off. I can pour it right into a wheelbarrow from here and start over again. We'll see how it goes when there's whole lot in there too. It'll be a different test. Um, so I'm pretty pleased with it. I like that it's brown. It's not too eye-catching as you come in the driveway. I feel like lots of um, composting stuff is usually pretty ugly, so uh, if I don't have to look at it too much uh, or notice it too much, that's a good thing. I made a little walkway here and in the summertime all the vines are going to grow up around this so I can't see it from the doorway of the house which I think is nice and then behind it on the other side um, Josh is going to be building a motorcycle shop a uh, place where we can work on projects out of the space of our other shed which is going to turn into the washing packing zone for growing salad um, so yeah we're just getting started on this business little projects are fun to share um, I'm glad to have a blog to be able to share these things with you and a reason to make little videos to go along with them. I hope you enjoyed um, and I'll see you next time. Bye.